How is Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome different from erythema toxicum neonatorum? Is the topic of today's video. Welcome to Medicosis Perfectionalis. So, in pediatrics, a very high yield topic is the comparison between these two conditions because the question, the scenario, will have either one of them and will describe a case and hopefully you get the diagnosis correct. Is it the nasty staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome or the relatively mild, benign, simple erythema toxicum neonatorum? And now the comparison. So, staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome or S, 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 the baby looks ill. On the other hand, erythema toxicum neonatorum, the baby looks well. Here we have a positive Nikolsky sign, which means these bulla or blisters, they will burst. Okay, here negative Nikolsky sign, i.e. the skin rash will stay intact and will not rupture, will not burst. Here, if you get a skin sample under the microscope, the predominant type of cell is the neutrophil. Here, skin sample yields eosinophils. The baby will present on the first day of his or her life. However, erythema toxicum neonatorum presents with the baby two to five days old. Very rare to find it in the first day. This is a huge difference. Staph scalded skin syndrome will progress. It will get worse. Erythema toxicum neonatorum will regress. So, just like to make it simple, this is evil and this is relatively benign. Ill, well, first day is always evil, two to five days, will progress, will regress. Positive Nikolsky sign, the bulla rupture. Here, negative Nikolsky sign, they are intact, neutrophil and eosinophil. Evil, the SSSS, like Satan, 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 regress, benign erythema toxicum neonatorum. That's it. Pretty simple. Please make sure that you know the differences between staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome and erythema toxicum neonatorum. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay tuned. Study hard.